All right, my friends. So today we have the Razer Atlas Tempurglass Gaming Mouse Mat in front of us. The size of this mouse pad is 450 by 400 millimeters. And this is a really nice premium glass mouse pad. And this pad is priced at $99. So it is in the realm of competition for the other glass mouse pads in the space. My initial impressions of this thing are very, very good. And I do feel like it's very comparable to the Pulsar Super Glide mouse pad that we just took a look at last week. This thing is is very good and 100% worth the money. And let's talk about why. Let's talk about some of the elephants that we have in the room and we're gonna compare the noise of this mouse pad. And then we're gonna talk about my brief performance that I've been noticing over the past day or so. Starting off with the smoothness of this mouse pad. This thing is incredibly smooth and I also don't get my hand stuck on it at all. So one thing that I noticed about the TJ exclusive ceramic pad, you definitely had to either wear a hoodie or use the gaming sleeve that they included with that pad and personally i'm not really the type of guy to like to use gaming sleeves just not something that i want to do every time i want to hop on a game and do a quick gaming session but but as far as the noise of the razor atlas From what we just observed, the Razer Atlas is pretty similar in terms of noise levels compared to the TJ Exclusive Serra Pad, which I did note that that one was the quietest glass pad that I do have. And that one is actually made of ceramic instead of glass. And the Atlas also handily beat the Sky Pad and the Pulsar Pad as well, which I also thought that the Pulsar Pad was a little bit quieter or less annoying sounding than the Sky Pad. And with that being said, my aim on the Razer Atlas as well has also been very very good for some reason on this pad i was just playing super consistent and i don't know maybe i was just having a really good day the performance i was having on this thing was absolutely insane not to mention that i haven't really been playing a lot of destiny recently i've just kind of been grinding some other games and trying to make sure that my aim is really good but apparently it must be working and in combination with the atlas i was having a really good time as far as smoothness of the surface this is definitely comparable to the pulsar pad that one was incredibly smooth as well the tj exclusive pad is also very smooth but the difference in texture even when you have your hand on it again you have to use a gaming sleeve and the sky pad 3.0 is just a little bit more rough it is still very good and i do play well on the sky pad at all quite frankly i play well on all of them once you adjust to the speed of a glass pad but otherwise i don't know guys i think this one might be my new favorite it's going to be coming in black and white for 99 dollars as well the pulsar has that red pad but i do want to point something out to you guys if you are going to be worrying about the noise levels of this pad you're probably worried about the noise levels when you're doing like desk work and things like that but otherwise i would be more so worried about the noise levels when it comes to other people in your house more than likely when you're gaming you're probably wearing headphones or blaring speakers or whatever the case is it's not really your problem it's going to be the problem of other people in the room maybe in the other nearby rooms more than likely i would rate the razor pad as about 10 to 15 ish percent quieter than the pulsar super glide pad and that one was my previous and the super glide pad was my previous favorite just before i checked this out and opened this bad boy up so with that being said i mean i just said it was my favorite like a week ago but i do like this better i've been using it i do like this better than the super glide pad i would like to have it in white as well because i think it will look clean white with the black razor logo up here or something like that but yeah guys the base on this is also really good like yeah you can slide it on a desktop but otherwise like while you're gaming this thing is not going anywhere but that's it guys that is just my quick thoughts on the razor atlas glass gaming mouse pad 99 dollars Pretty good control, but I'm gonna be frank with you guys, trying to rate control between all these different glass pads, it's kind of hard to tell. Like I have a little bit of control on this, I have a little bit of control on the Super Glide Pad, the Sky Pad, and the Sarah Pad. I definitely do think have a little bit more of an advantage when it comes to control. But the cons of the noise on the Sky Pad and using a sleeve on the TJ Exclusive might change your opinion one way or the other if you're not comfortable dealing with those cons. If you live alone, you're probably gonna have the best aim on the sky pad when it comes to having the most control. Otherwise, if you live with other people, I definitely think that the Razer is probably gonna be the safest bet when it comes to the noise levels. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Appreciate your time and have a great rest of your day.